to recognize the full contribution swell makes in the livelihoods of those who depend directly from it, whether for industrial or farming purposes. The United Nations General Assembly set aside this year to raise awareness about the critical role of swell. Different types of swells remain a key in addressing the pressures of growing population, food security as well as healthy ecosystems. Namibia's over 60% rural population survive from direct farming activities, relying on suitable natural habitat. The Deputy Director at the Agriculture, Water and Forestry Ministry's Crop Research and Production Division, Dr. Benedict Malima, says that farmers now more than ever need to get involved in soil restocking processes due to the recorded global climatic changes, not to forget the country's own unpredictable weather conditions. He adds that besides rural communities being key in international soil awareness, traditional methods to swell maintenance should not be discarded. We depend on soil and unfortunately we don't respect soil on which we depend on. Secondly, we need to know the contribution of soil for food security and the poverty alleviation and of course even sustainable development. Now, uh, we can only achieve this one if we can try to come up with technologies and also other management skills which can give the soil a, a breath for the production. The ministry recently also released food security report for December, stating that food security and harvesting in some regions were weakening because of the various factors intertwined with soil sustainability. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, however, is optimistic that Namibia's agriculture-dependent communities can help mitigate soil erosion and degradation. UN's Food and Agriculture Organization says it has become extremely difficult to replenish farming soil once it has deteriorated. Now in the case of Namibia where some areas are extremely fertile and others not, FAO is confident that farming outputs from areas with good soil fertility can complement those with low soil fertility. Uh, estimated that uh, about 33% of the global soils is already degraded and is no longer in a position to, to support any agricultural activity. So um, it's important that uh, we take measures to avoid further degradation and depletion of the soils. Um, farming has been going on on the soils. We've been removing nutrients from the soil mm -hmm. without uh, replenishment. So as a result, there's a lot of depletion in terms of nutrient content of the soil. And, and very soon um, we will find, our, uh, we'll find ourselves in a situation where um, we have to deal with a very huge crisis in terms of sustainable agricultural production because the soil is no longer productive. Babagana Ahmadu says while the line ministry has started distributing seeds to farmers and its extension officers advising farmers on different farming methods such as intercropping and dry land crop production, FAO as the technical partner has made available relevant information at offices drawing expertise from specialists which local farmers can use in land or soil management in addition to their indigenous knowledge. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.